Hi, good evening. Thank you for joining us in this session. I'm Youngjun, software engineer at Samsung. Today, I will be talking about a new ad type called the interactive ad, which will be implemented on Samsung TV Plus for Tizen Smart TVs. We'll start with explaining what Samsung TV Plus is for those who are not familiar with. Then we will cover the topics on the interactive ad along with the operations of how this will be approachable for our advertisers. Further into the session, we'll talk about the intricacy and the architecture of how this whole process was developed. In the rapidly growing fast service, also known as the free ad supported TV, Samsung TV Plus is loved by millions of users globally. Amid this growth, Samsung is opening up a new era for its free connected TV streaming hundreds of channels, and also the video on demand service with thousands of movie and shows for free. We've seen the addressable devices growing up to whopping 500 million worldwide. As shown in the graph, this number is increasing day by day as our users are watching content more and more. Currently, Samsung TV Plus is available in 24 countries and we plan to provide our service to more next year. Hence, we'll help secure a diverse audience to give our partners a huge opportunity to participate in. Gonna make you so happy. It's a gift. Okay. As part of improving this experience, we are looking for meaningful opportunities to work with our partners. For this reason, we are reaching to our partners to find ways to combine connected TVs with creative experiences. To make this viable, first, we have nearly 1,000 content partners worldwide that provide more than 2,000 channels. Local news coverage in top 50 DMAs across four major broadcast networks, ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC are available. Second, with the collaboration, Samsung TV Plus streams out highlighted channels for news, sports, entertainment, Latino, etc. Lastly, we thank our partners who provide support, World, Amagi, Frequency, and Zumo. And also, we cannot thank more to Brightline for all the effort and interactive ad, which will be covered today. Altogether, we are planning additional features that are expected in the coming seasons. We are making efforts to give our viewers better experience through effective services. Our team is working diligently to provide high level of user experience with continuous UI improvements. And that was Samsung TV Plus, the best of TV, all for free. It's 100% TV available on almost any device, Samsung TVs, smart monitors, mobile, and even family hub refrigerators. Now, throughout the years, we're exploring ways to combine connected TVs with the ads smoothly de delivered to users. With that in mind, we've developed exciting ways for viewers to interact with Samsung TV Plus. Moving from a passive advertising experience to a more dynamic experience that drives engagement. We'll now introduce the interactive ad. Today, we introduce interactive ad technology that allows you to experience advertisements dynamically rather than simply viewing them. This new type of ad will encourage consumers to interact with their screen. Like this awesome new Galaxy Z Flip ad, just you as you watched, viewers can look through the colors they prefer by simply pressing the navigation buttons during the commercial. Interactive ad goes beyond simply watching the content. It allows users to experience ads. This actionable video ad gives opportunity to all. They will be used to maximize customer engagement per exposure, creating value for consumers looking to discover more when the ad appears during commercial breaks. In addition, our partners will be able to customize the interactive overlays with various actions. They will be able to use unique interactive ad templates based on campaign needs. Also, with specific sequence we've integrated, they will be able to understand campaign impact with detailed reporting 
that includes campaign impressions, metrics, and interaction rates. This was all possible with the collaboration with our partner, Brightline. The Brightline side of the magic is actually very intuitive. With their SDK integrated seamlessly on our Tizen smart TVs, they have provided and developed Tizen-specific logics to divide layers and enhance stability across our connected TVs. We were able to quickly and easily maneuver this technology with their support. Through collaboration and technology provided by Brightline, we could develop a natural overlay by wrapping an HTML iframe over the stream. When Samsung TV Plus client initializes the Brightline SDK, the Samsung ad servers request add upon ad break based on manifest. Then, when the Brightline ad server returns the vast or video ad serving template to response, the Samsung ad server will stitch the video ad in the stream to fill the ad break by server side insertion, or SSAI. TV Plus client with the SDK then pulls the SSAI to get information related to upcoming ad breaks. The interactive ad will be provided by Brightline to enable interactive overlay with their content delivery network. Then, when interactive ad renders on screen and the user interacts with them, the events will be sent to Brightline servers to connect the dots. The architecture of Brightline SDK was the optimal toolkit for our devices and was easy to merge into Samsung TV+. This way, we were able to expand the advertising ecosystem using the strengths of Tizen and collaborating with our partners. Samsung's partnership with Brightline allows advertisers to leverage the power of interactive experiences on Samsung TV+. Actionable video ads encourage consumers to seek more information from their favorite brands using a TV remote without interrupting anything. Sources from Brightline with years of know-how and data, different in interactive format intrigue triggers noticeable interaction rates. Different ad templates serve different purposes. Dynamic addressable type, carousel, the poll type, trivia questioning, and game reveal type. In particular, providing multiple pieces of information in a single ad is a powerful opportunity. This possibility functions as a direct landing page effect and efficiently achieves the most common goals for brand advertisers. Additionally, in-ad overlays are layered over the stream, allowing advertisers to swap out product, product information to different design at any time. Thanks to our team's efforts, this interactive inter experience is possible not only on video on demand, but also on live streaming. This will enable our advertisers to drive more user interaction and participation. With our new features, you will be able to connect your viewers with the content that goes beyond just simple streaming. Ha! Huh. The process of making the ad will look like the following. Four weeks be before launch, kickoff begins with aligning the creative, the creative and providing access to create V1 to client. Then, three weeks before launch, the client will provide feedback to create V2. Next, when the client approves, Brightline will provide VAST to Samsung ads. And lastly, three to five business days before launch, Samsung will prepare the campaign. Interactive ad will appear quite naturally in Samsung TV+. During the advertisement, an HTML overlay renders synchronously with the stream and is displayed in time with the video. These scalable overlays can be easily rendered with the help of the aforementioned Brightline SDK. But on the flip side, fetching the ads involves behind the scenes complexity. Now, we will discuss about the intricacy of the architecture to cover details on how interactive ad is actually served. Before we go on, Samsung TV Plus app is served by three prominent layers. First, all multimedia videos are stemming from the player framework, which technically handles all streaming videos, including the HLS streaming. The video stream is passed onto the screen by the player, which users can view from our beautiful high-resolution TVs. Then there is the app UI, the app that controls the interaction and events that shows the UI of Samsung TV Plus. This app site helps us users to navigate, choose from hundreds of channels, sift through thousands of our free on-demand contents. The seamlessness of stream synchronously handled by the app is viable by the event bridge, which is responsible for all the events passing through the player to the app. 
Lastly, the creative overlay we've been talking about, the brand new layer that's placed just on top of the app UI. This overlay is a set of web-based HTML and JavaScript, provided, provided by, essentially by Brightline. This layer will render when there is interactive ad playing in the background. So this is basically an in-sync iframe on top of the video. We worked closely together to merge specifics to deliver the perfect interactive ad scenario. With all these, we were able to render the exciting new advertisement on top of our Samsung TV Plus app. Now, let's visualize five of the most important components handling the flow of this. Presumably, there is a player which works specifically for Samsung TV Plus or the client, and a streaming engine, and as server, and lastly, the Brightline server with the event collector. First, like we described in the earlier SDK architecture, assume the ad server stitches the real-time stream in M3U8 format through our ad operation. At this time, a parsable interactive ad format is inserted into the vast information included in M3U8 format. When the HLS streaming engine in the client, which is the entity that pulls the, and receives information from the ad server, sends requests to check M3U8 information, they will receive vast interactive ad information from the ad server. Like we said in the last slide, the HLS streaming engine runs in the background of the, of the TV by the player framework. The Samsung TV Plus app then receives a feed of live stream and events from the player framework and receives information that is the ad is playing. There, the client will send session and impression event to the event collector and receive interactive overlay assets from the CDN. And right on time, TV Plus app will render the overlay in sync with the live stream using the Brightline SDK. In other words, before the advertising video appears, the app receives advertising information from the player in advance and renders an HTML overlay with the Brightline SDK based on this information. After when there happens a user event, like scrolling, pressing the button with the remote, their action will be sent again to the event collector for analysis. Let's see the high-level architecture to understand what's happening behind the scenes. To briefly summarize this process, first the ad stitch server inserts an advertisement for information to the stream, then passes this information to the Samsung TV Plus client which holds the HLS stream engine and the player. The client then uses this information to communicate with Brightline to render the overlay in memory, and when the actual advertising video is displayed, it seamlessly shows the overlay in sync with the video. By implementing these, we were able to support interactive overlay on time, even in the live stream. The development of interactive ad feature was a collaborative effort, but included several of our specialty technologies. The player, or the streaming engine, always runs in the background to display video so that the viewing stream does not stop. The player client does polls for interactive ad and periodically sends video-related events to the Samsung TV Plus app. If the TV Plus app receives interactive ad data, it parses it on its own and displays an overlay through the Brightline SDK. However, when the actual ad is playing, there is a time lag for the overlay to be prepared. There is inevitable delay until the app communicates with Brightline to receive the data and render it on the web view. During this time, the overlay does not appear and may be out of sync with the current ad video. To solve this, the app requests advertising data in advance and renders the overlay in memory. And when the actual advertising video is exposed, there will be an ad start event to signal immediate overlay display on the screen. For this process to happen seamlessly, we made a pipeline to handle the sequence of next ad, preloaded ad, and current ad to flow linearly every time. This process is happening like the following. The event pipeline flows as next ad, preloaded ad, then current ad. There will be an ad prepare event to preload an overlay to render the iframe overlay in the background memory, but not showing just yet. When there is ad start event, this preloaded ad overlay will now be the current ad. There, it will set an event listener to catch the exact time when the overlay is loaded to immediately show the render, show and render the interactive ad. 
However, the real-time streaming video and the status of the app does not always match. There are times when the overlay is out of sync with the live stream due to various issues such as network and app loading. Like we've co covered earlier, the player framework, which handles the HLS streaming, has to be in time with the, the stream to sync video and audio. But the Samsung TV Plus app, which is a separate layer but is on top of the player, so it does not have knowledge about the, the time sync. This is problematic for interactive overlay to show right on time with streaming, as it, as it is rendered by the Brightline SDK over the app. Like seen from this timeline, if there are sync issues related to server and live time, the stream may correct itself by buffering and catching up. But the app does not recognize this, and this gap may stack over time. This may not be noticeable from the beginning, but like this example, it will be de devastating and harm the user experience if the interactive ad is not in time with the stream. Imagine when the ad overlay is running when the stream is not on the ad. It'll be terrible. So to solve this problem, the player framework periodically corrects the time through server polling, and the app uses this to synchronize overlays. Thankfully, we were able to complement this process by working closely together with excellent engineers on the player and media streaming engine team. Through these efforts, the Samsung TV Plus was able to provide interactive ad that combines overlay and the stream simultaneously. Now, that was all for today. During your time with us today, we looked at interactive ads, Samsung TV Plus new ad type. This innovative advertisement type will provide unprecedented opportunities for both CPs and advertisers. Ads that are experienced through video and interaction, rather than simple viewing. There will be immersive interactive content possibilities ready for you, and they support diverse selection of ad types. Also, by leveraging Tizen's technolo te technological capabilities, Samsung TV Plus seeks to create best practices for sustainable collaboration with our partners. We believe that future possibilities are endless by working with tools like Brightline SDK. And at the center of this effort is the Samsung TV Plus team. Our team is constantly working to provide the best experience for, for both viewers and the content providers. What I showed you today is just the beginning. We ask for your expectations and curiosity as to what new features and changes await you in the future. Once again, we sincerely thank you for all for joining us today. And we promise you that you, your exciting journey with Samsung TV Plus will continue. Thank you.